What's going on guys? My name is Subpredicate and today I'm connect you guys with a sort of old school commentary. I'm not really too sure what I'm going to be talking about in this video. I have two main things that I really want to get over. Uh, but yeah, I haven't made a video in a while and that's kind of the first thing. Kind of wanted to update you guys with that. First of all, no, I'm not dead. You know, I'm not really sure a lot of you guys thought that because I did upload sort of a mini clip like yesterday or two days ago. Depending on when you're watching this video and when I upload it. But uh, yeah, basically... Why I haven't been making videos is because the content on Black Ops 3 and what I mainly do, I mainly do like challenges, news, and just, you know, not really funny videos or videos that don't really do with stuff that's going on right now. If that makes any sense, I'm sorry if it doesn't. Uh, but basically, we haven't had anything new or anything kind of like you guys want to see that has to do with my channel. So basically, uh, there hasn't been any announcement for DLC 2, and I really wanted there to be uh, this past past Tuesday just because I knew at that point too that I wasn't really um, doing much videos at that time either because the Rising Dragon is dead to me. It's completely dead to me. I'm so like bored of Black Ops 3 zombies right now because you know everything's repetitive. We play the giant Shadows of Evil a lot and the Rising Draha. Um, a lot of people um, still aren't sick of it, especially people on Xbox and PC because they barely got it. But dude, I'm dead serious. I cannot play that map, and, you know, a lot of the time, you know, especially now. So, you know, I haven't played that. I even went back to my PS3, and that's kind of where my uh, where my new sort of topic I'm going to talk about right now. So first of all, or basically, yeah, I haven't uploaded in a while, and it's basically just because the content that I mainly like to do, like new Easter eggs and new info and new, you know, details and stuff on the map and kind of tutorials, tips and tricks, and you guys, you know, if you guys haven't subscribed for a while, then you guys know what I do. And basically, uh... You know, the content that I do in that form, basically, I can't produce now anymore because there's nothing new going on. I honestly thought there was going to be some news coming out this past Tuesday because I believe the DLC is going to be coming out sometime in April, maybe late April. And, you know, we might even get an announcement at this point. Definitely not a trailer because, you know, it's just still too damn early because you still have a month to go. But at least, at least some info. So, Treyarch, please, this next Tuesday, bring us some new information on DLC 2, man. We're all hoping for it. We're all begging for it. Now moving on to the second topic of this commentary is that I actually plugged in my PS3 again and I'm enjoying Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 man I love those games and actually one of the trickiest things is that I've gotten so used to the Black Ops 3 3 hit system before you know you buy Juggernaug and basically back here I thought I was incredible but nah dude two hits and you're down so that's you know the only bad thing to come out of this but also this goes along with kind of my new obsession session or the new thing that I am really getting into which is zombies world record so basically if you guys don't really know about this you guys might hear about it because you know some people put you know world record in the title uh, basically what this is, is that there's a website called zombierecords.com it's not really associated with you know Treyarch or Activision or you know anything official that has to do with the game but they take you know everything seriously and they you know they basically um, Sorry for saying basically a lot, but you know, basically what they do is that you can submit your entire gameplay in a file by uploading it to YouTube. I believe they have some other method like a Twitch stream highlight that you can link to them and they'll check it out. But basically, only the records that have been sent to them are what they count as official. So maybe some guy out there somewhere has made it to round 300 on Black Ops 3. And you know, that would be the current world record on pretty much any map. Uh, you know, that isn't World at War or Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2. And, you know, that would be a pretty damn, you know, hard record to beat. Uh, but no one has recorded it. So, basically, only things that you record and you actually send to them and they have to verify it. So, you have to, you know, upload and render the whole gameplay. You know, then they'll check it off and be like, yep, this guy has the current world record for, you know, you know this challenge on this map. So yeah, I'll link it down below in the description, and dude, I've been getting so much into it, especially thanks to Yahweh Wizard. If you guys don't know who he is, uh, basically, he's a really good zombies YouTuber that's kind of underrated in my opinion, uh, but he actually recently has made a new sort of genre of top fives. I find his top fives really refreshing because they're not really to do anything with the core game itself, but he actually goes to zombierecords.com, takes, you know, some really impressive, you know, new records that were beaten that week, 
link and then he just compiles them and gives you the information and I find that really uh, you know like a really cool type of video idea and the way he executes the whole thing his whole visual things his thumbnails his voice you know the way he credits the people it's all you know really cool and you know dude I I, <laughs> I like I find them tremendously entertaining and I really encourage you guys to check them out in the description so yeah, dude, big shout out to him, but you know, thanks to him, I've been checking out the actual records on ZombieRecords.com, and I don't want to jinx myself, but I have seen a couple records that I thought to myself, well, this might not actually be, you know, that hard to beat, and I'm not really the best Zombies player, I'm, you know, I like to think I'm above average, but you know, doing these challenges for, you know, world records, uh, that's actually kind of out of my league, but I found, you know, this one challenge, I feel like I can beat it, it's basically no Juggernaut on Shangri-La. Now, Shangri-La is basically one of the hardest maps of all time. I'm pretty sure anyone can agree with that. And it's just, it's really hard. It's, it's a tricky map, especially with the new zombies introduced. There's no specific training route that you can do. This is one room, but it's really hard, especially without Juggernaut. So right now, the world record is round 39. It's by Beaver224 or 244, something like that. You guys can check it out in the description. But basically, round 39 with no Juggernaut on Shangri-La. Like, you could do that on Ascension. You know, you know, you know, very easily. But on Shangri-La, dude, it's really hard. So I busted out my PS3, and my first game on Shangri-La, I tried this challenge, and I made it to round 14. And I believe uh, on ZombieRecords.com, they hold the top 10 uh, people and you know records for that specific record. So there are you know 10 different people there. But the official world record is held by Beaver, who has you know round 39. But there are people up there with like 23, 32, and stuff like that. So, you know, on my first game, I made it to round 14, and I and I knew I wasn't going to be doing that good because I haven't played Black Ops 1 in a while, and especially Shangri-La, dude. I even barely played that map just last summer, the first time I ever played it. So the 10th and 9th place for that specific record on Shangri-La are both round 13, so I made it to round 14, so I'm already in 8th place for that record, except I don't really feel like rendering that entire file in like 720p. That would honestly take like 10 hours to do because my laptop is so bad with videos and then it would take even more time trying to upload it so yeah I don't want the hassle of just uploading that entire file just for me to beat the record later on or get a higher round because I know I could do better that was my first game back I think I've already made it to round 16 playing last night so I'm not really too sure I hope I could beat it I really want to hold a world record and this one just seems really cool because there are some that you know fastest to round 100 fastest to round 50 but I've never even been to round 100 I made it to round 50 once and that was on black ops 3 so you know it's, you know these records are very hard to beat and I highly encourage you guys to check them out maybe you guys want to set one and there are a lot of different records on there that are just you know really interesting and you don't really think that lots of people would be going for those records but I think just the idea of holding a world record by something kind of official is you know really cool or just really cool to me but anyways guys this commentary is getting a little bit longer than I anticipated it to be so if you guys didn't enjoy it then don't forget to drop a like down below subscribe for more call of duty zombies videos and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out